All right, so we are going to make um, a bridge that goes across this Waller Creek. If I go to edit in place here, you'll see that there are several lines that go across here that are allowing us to put this adaptive component on it. So we're going to set up this file to do that. So that's what this first video is going to be about. We'll go ahead and finish this mass here and delete it. Okay. If I go into my site plan, you'll see that I have several reference planes that we're going to make. So I'm going to delete those. I'll go ahead and delete the scope box. And then I'm going to go into my south elevation. And I have a couple of levels that I've created. Pavilion plan A2. I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to put delete pavilion plan A1 and delete that. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my site plan and I'm going to create a scope box where we're going to want the pavilion or the sort of the landing spot for the beginning of the bridge. Um, if you want to, you can select the topography and edit the surface and pick the individual points and create a flat spot like I did around here that's at negative three feet or just to figure out where the topography is. It's a good way just to pick a point and you can find the elevation. Okay, so once you've done that, go ahead and close out of there. And I'm going to create a scope box by going to View and Scope Box. And we'll just put a scope box around this area right here. And then I'm just going to name that Pavilion, Scope Box Pavilion. So I know what it is. Then I'm going to create a couple of levels for us, and that this is at negative three, we know that. So I'm going to go into a section here that you can create if you like by going to View and Section and left clicking and left clicking. What you want to make sure is that if you pick the section line, that you have a view range that goes, you know, somewhere near the back of your scope box there. So when we draw reference lines in there, it'll we'll be able to see them. All right, so I'm going to go to this section by double clicking on the blue side of it. And this is where our scope box is for the pavilion. So I'm just going to pick it and pull it down a little bit into the earth. Then I'm going to create a level right here by going to architecture, level, and I'm going to left click near where I want it to be and drag to the left. And it starts naming it at pavilion A3 since I had A1 and A2. I'm going to rename that to pavilion A1 and enter. <laughs> And it's going to rename the view that it created over here, so I'll just say yes. And then I know that I want that at negative three feet, since we checked the topography, so negative three. And now that pavilion is equal with my topography. Now I'm going to go create another level. And you'll notice when I create the level that it's making a plan view, and it, you can set the plan view types that it's making. So that is why it's creating the view over here. So I'm just going to left click. And when the blue alignment line comes up, left click, and it's doing pavilion plan A2, and I want that to be at 12 feet. So that gives us a top and a bottom for this. Um, we don't necessarily need it for this particular thing, but you should go ahead and get this set up in your file if you don't have it already. Okay, so for the next um, installment, um, or the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the reference planes we're going to use to draw the lines. So I'm going to go to my site plan. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to Architecture and Reference Plane. And I'm going to draw three reference planes. And just for the sake of habit, I'm going to line them up with the, um, the grid lines. And you could actually use grid lines if you wanted to. Grid lines are actually reference planes with notation on them. So I'm going to go left click here for the reference plane. Sorry, they're grid lines. Grids are reference planes with notation on them, not reference lines. They're reference planes. So left click here to complete that reference plane and name this one. We'll name this Bridge South, so BS. And then we'll do another reference plane here, and that's going to be Bridge Middle, BM. And then another reference plane here, and that will be Bridge North. All right, so now I have three reference planes, which are basically just planar, they're coming at us in the Z, and they go on an infinity setup that we can now draw lines on to create the lines we're going to make the bridge with. 
So when we come back, we'll do that.